the mortgage guidelines have made it very favorable to be able to help folks with the student loan still be able to qualify for mortgages. So we don't want to get too dive to dive in too deep to the specifics of the guidelines, but I will tell you this is that, you know, like for instance, if you're VA and you have a student loan that's deferred, we could potentially not have to count the debt against you. If you're on the FHA or conventional, you know, and you have an income-based repayment plan and that income-based repayment plan is zero or $5 or $25, we only have to count that amount against you. Mm -hmm. So let me give an example. Let's say you have $100,000 worth of student loans and you're in an income-based repayment plan and the income-based repayment plan says you have to pay $25 a month. That $25 is the only thing we have to count into your debt to income ratio. Now, if you're not in any type of income-based repayment plan, or if you're not in any type of, you know, forbearance or anything like that, most of the time, the bank is going to count a half a percent of whatever the student loan balance is into your debt-to-income ratio. But I don't want our listeners to get too caught up into trying to calculate what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. What I want them to hear your message of, there are options. Yes. Don't talk yourself out of, oh, I'm not going to be able to get a house because I have student loans. Don't talk yourself out of it. Get with a mortgage professional that's going to be able to look at your specific situation, right? Are you a conventional borrower? Are you a VA borrower? Are you an FHA borrower, right? Do you have deferment remaining? Do you have forbearance remaining? Can you do an IBR? Can you do an IDR? You know, and are you a veteran? What's the loan type? So all of those things come into play for your specific situation. Right. So regardless of what your coworker may have had to go through or sister or family or friend or neighbor or whatever, everybody's situation is completely different and you need your student loan situation assessed so a plan can be made specifically for your situation. I will give an example. Um, so let's just use the example again of a hundred thousand dollars student loan. Okay. Mm -hmm. So someone has a hundred thousand dollars student loan and they're in deferment or forbearance. So the rule is you have to count half a percent of the student loan balance as a debt. So if you have a hundred thousand dollars student loan, a half a percent is $500. $500 is what will have to go into your debt to income ratio. But then the but is, sometimes I look at it and say, well, hey, if we have to count $500 against you, it throws off your debt to income ratio. You don't qualify for as much as you would like. What can we do? Mm -hmm. So then you may have that same person that I say, well, okay, call your student loan servicer and see if you're eligible for income-based repayment plan. So, okay. So they may call the, the servicer and they say, well, yeah, you can do an income-based repayment plan and your payment's going to be $300 a month. So now, instead of me counting a half a percent, which is $500, if you go into the income-based repayment plan and it's $300, now I can count the 300 instead of the 500. Now you just were able to qualify for more money or qualify altogether when before you may not have been able to. So right. again, the thing that I want our listeners to understand and the theme of it is do not talk yourself out of it just thinking that your student loans automatically disqualify you because they do not. Mm -hmm. There are scenarios that are out there that we may be able to look at your situation and say, hey, it makes sense for you to do this. It makes sense for you to do this. It makes sense for you to do this. And then we can craft a plan that's specific for your needs and be able to give you, you know, a, a clear path forward. But a lot of folks get so discouraged by the student loans that they don't even try. Yeah, and that is something weight. that's a huge mistake. Yeah, it's a big and mistake. Let's, 